In this video, I'm gonna explain why, if your business is taxed as an S corporation, why you need to incorporate your health insurance premiums, as well as any HSA contributions that you're making into your payroll. And the reason why is because you can save yourself an additional 15.3% uh, in taxes. But don't worry, I'm gonna explain all that here in a second. If it's your first time watching though, uh, before I get into showing you that, um, my name is Navi Miraj. I'm a CPA who produces content all over social media to help you save money in taxes, right? And if I'm not helping you do that, then I'm showing you how to do something or teach you how to do something so that you learn something from one of these videos. So this one's gonna be a little bit of both. It's gonna be uh, how to save Social Security and Medicare taxes as it relates to your health insurance premiums and any HSA contributions that you might be making. So, you know, you may have learned by now by watching my channel or other folks or blog articles or what have you that when you're an S corporation, you need to be paying yourself what's called a reasonable compensation, okay? However, um, when you do that, and you have health insurance, so I'm not talking about health insurance where you are married and your spouse uh, works for an employer who offers health insurance and you're on that plan. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you as the employee, or sorry, the you know, as the S Corp owner, I should say, you are paying out of pocket for your own health, uh, health insurance. That could be uh, medical, dental, vision, and um, you are paying for that insurance either through the marketplace or um, you, you know some other third party. Maybe you work with a, an insurance agent, and that's who you're getting your insurance from. Okay, so if you get um, if that's what you are right. If you pay for your health insurance out of pocket like that, you actually should be integrating that as part of your uh, reasonable compensation. And the reason why is because it saves you additional money in Social Security and Medicare taxes. Let me show you via an example, okay? This is a little bit of a stale example, given that it says 2020 as the date here, but this would apply to any year that you're watching this video, okay? What I have here is basically a sample pay stub and you can easily identify, I got this from paystubcreator.net, right? Created this pay stub. Um, I won't walk you through all the little details here, but you have your employer over here, that's gonna be your S corporation and your employee, so I'm saying your name is John Doe, all right? And you live in a state uh, of Colorado that has a state income tax. And um, in this example, I'm saying that, let's say your S corp produces $100,000 worth of profit and based on the services that you perform, you've determined that $40,000 a year is reasonable compensation for the services that you perform, okay? You could see here where your full $40,000 is subject to federal income tax, um, social security tax, right? That's $2,480 on the 40 grand. If you're doing that math or you're trying to figure out that what that math is, that's 6.2%. So 40,000 times the 6.2% is 2480. And Medicare taxes, so 40,000 times 1.45% is the $580. So if you add the Social Security and the Medicare tax together, you get $3,060. But that's the employee, in this example, John Doe's amount of Social Security and Medicare tax. But you're, if, you're an, uh, if you're an S-Corp owner, then in this example, Sample Company LLC is also paying Social Security and Medicare taxes for the same amount. So it's actually uh, 3060 on the employee side and 3060 on the employer side. And that's how we're getting $6,120 in Social Security and Medicare tax. Now, what if I integrate health insurance premiums in my payroll? How does that change um, the numbers here? So I'm gonna click over and you can see what's changed. Um, and maybe you can't easily identify it, but what's changed is you still get paid $40,000. That was your reasonable compensation, but um, you're really sort of getting $34,000 worth of wages that are subject to Social Security and Medicare taxes. Um, but the other amount, I'm just using an example, the shareholder's health insurance of $6,000 that's getting paid to you in a way that's not subject to Social Security and Medicare taxes. So what's the difference between this slide and the last one? Well, in this example, the um, 
shareholder, the S Corp owner, is only paying Social Security and Medicare taxes on the $34,000, okay? So again, uh, we could do the math here. You add the Social Security and Medicare tax together, you get 2601. Again, that's the employee portion. There's also an employer por portion. So that's 5202. So the tax savings, right? If you look at the previous side, it was 6120. On the current slide, it's 5202. The difference is $918. And how you do the math behind that, that's the $6,000 of health insurance premiums that are not subject to the employer and the employee portion of Social Security and Medicare tax. So 6,000 times the 15.3% is $918. Now, in reality, your health insurance premiums are probably gonna be way more than $500 a month or $6,000 a year, right? So if I use my calculator, right? Let me grab my phone and, and load the calculator app. I would say that you're probably paying something more like $800 um, a month in health insurance premiums, especially if it's covering your spouse and perhaps dependents and other family members. So if I do the math on that, $800 times 12 months is $9,600 and this also applies to health savings account contributions that you're making. So let's say you have a health savings account and it's a family plan, so it's you and, and a spouse or a dependent or what have you. Um, you can contribute another roughly $7,000. So let's use 7,000 as the amount. So now we have between health insurance premiums and HSA contributions, $16,600 that's not subject to Social Security and Medicare tax. So we multiply that by 15.3% and you get a savings of $2,539.80. So you can see how powerful this stuff is, but I can guarantee you, a lot of you that are sort of doing the self-help thing by, by watching YouTubers and you're trying to do this and navigate this yourself, this is something that you probably don't see a lot of videos about and you really don't know how to navigate this part, that's okay, I understand that completely, but I'm creating this video to help you understand like, hey, the S Corp saves money in Social Security and Medicare taxes by paying yourself a reasonable compensation and not having to pay Social Security and Medicare tax on your distributions, but in addition to that, it can save you more Social Security and Medicare taxes by incorporating your health insurance premiums and HSA contributions as part of um, sort of the reasonable compensation equation, all right? And in this example, we showed you how it saved $918 with a very realistic number. But you can see when I did the math on my calculator that it really could save you something more like $2,500 in Social Security and Medicare tax. So you might be wondering to yourself, you know, how is one gonna like keep track of all these different tax strategies and how to implement them to get the most amount and actually to do things properly and to save the most amount in taxes. In fact, when I ask, you know, prospects, hey, wh what are they looking to do? They always answer the same two things. I want to do things correctly and I want to make sure that I'm not overpaying in taxes by leveraging all the strategies that are you know, legal, that are proper, that I can do to save money in tax, okay? And so one way you can do that, if you sort of wanna do it on your own, um, as opposed to reaching out to someone who may not know all these different strategies is, if you'd like, you can visit my website, it's naviemuradcpa.com. I've pulled it up for you. Um, here it is, there's a bunch of different resources here, but one thing is a course that I created to help you understand all this stuff. So there's always 11 um, hours of content here. There's a, a coupon code going on right now that you should probably utilize. It'll bring down the course to a very reasonable amount. You save like over 67%. But the point is, I wanna show you, look at all the different video and content on here. So in this videos or these series of videos, um, I'm teaching you, um, you know, basic accounting, basic tax, how an S-Corp works, how an S-Corp is taxed, all the various strategies, how to implement them, how to do your bookkeeping, um, you know, every strategy that I teach my clients when I'm working with them one-on-one uh, -on, -one on a monthly basis so that they're incorporating all these strategies is taught here in the course. I don't really leave anything out, okay? So have a look. You can see the, the just the pure volume of content out there. If that's something that you're interested in, um, you may want to check that out. All right. Having said that, really appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.